to Katie Vanga Show hope you guys are having an amazing day, so obviously we're back to doing like the really shitty camera because I had no time to set this up. And I saw that the Eternals teaser trailer came out. Um it did come out an hour ago. I'm a little bit late to it because I was studying. I have a lot of assignments due this week. Um but oh my god guys, like oh I don't know a lot about Eternals other than the fact that it looks so beautiful and it was I can't remember the director's name. I know that she's like Academy Award winner and now she's Golden Globes as well. But I've seen her, what was it, for Nomad Land? I think that's what it's called. It's so beautiful. And then I saw the Eternal screenshots in the trailer and stuff that came out for the whole Marvel thing. And I was like, this movie looks so good. And then I saw the teaser poster that looks beautiful. Um, and just, yeah, I'm going to dive into the teaser without anything. Let's just do it. Oh, it looks so beautiful already. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the heck? We have watched. Unguided. We have helped them progress. Oh my god, this looks so pretty. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that? <laughs> oh, Kit Harrington! It's rich and bad, oh my god. Reunited. Oh my god! Thank you for this. Oh, you're welcome. It's not that Captain Rogers and Iron Man are both gone. Who do you think's gonna lead the Avengers? Well, I could lead them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It looks so good. Oh, it looks so beautiful. It looks like a dream. And this is the thing, like, if you guys know me on Twitter, like, I'm a big D&D fan, like, fantasy. Happy Marvel oh, Monday morning to you, people. <laughs> Rejects. Stop it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the reject um guys they're like really reacting to it it went straight to their reaction good for you boys but um oh dude like i i love this sort of like high fantasy sort of stuff and it looks high fantasy a little bit like especially angeline jolie's character she looks like an elf and i was like oh my god this looks like D D, and this is my sort of thing so it looks so pretty and just like all the different details it looks so good guys and I haven't been this excited for a Marvel movie in a long time. I mean, I'm very excited for, like, you know, all the other movies that are coming out. But, like, Eternals, oh, it looks so good. And just so beautiful. And, oh, my God, the romances. Finally proper romances. Because we never get it in Marvel because they're like, oh, the action prioritized over characterization and all that bullshit. Well, obviously, One Division was, like, the first thing that sort of had that. But I love the romance and, like, superhero stuff. So I was like, oh, my God, give me some romance. And when I found out that, like, Gemma Chan's character and Richard Madden's character were, like, getting together, I was like, yes. <laughs> and then Kit Harrington as well. Kit Harrington is married to, I think, Selma, what's her name? Uh, her character um, yeah, they're married, I think, in this one as well. I, I can't remember. He's married to one of the characters. Um, and then, yeah. But also, just the fact that Richard Madden and Kit Harrington are reunited after Game of Thrones. Like, everyone's like, oh my god, the reunion of a lifetime. It's happening. Um, uh, which is sort of cool. That's, like, awesome. Working with, like, your, like, co-star from, like, another thing that you never got to sort of say goodbye to because, obviously, like, the storyline and stuff. That's so awesome. 
Oh, dude, this movie's gonna be so cool. And even just in general, like, this is probably the most, like, diverse cast that we've seen. Not only in terms of, like, the colour and, like, the different actors, but also even in terms of, like, showing off, like, different abilities in terms of... There's a deaf um, woman in it. I can't remember the... I don't know the character, so that's why I need to do more research before the trailer comes out. But I know that there's a deaf character. I'm not sure about anybody else, but I do... I remember that happening at... I think it was Comic-Con, and she came on and she did, like... Uh, sign language and stuff like that and I was like oh my god this is awesome like that's amazing and yeah I just can't wait to see all that unfold on screen and again cinematography it's gonna win best cinematography it has to like the golden globes and stuff need to get over themselves and give it to like action movies like this because it's so good and the fact that Endgame didn't win any Oscars either was like what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, even just any action movie in the world, in terms of, like, superheroes, nothing has won. And, like, even Harry Potter didn't win. That's a different story. But you know what I mean? Like, they should have won. But anyway, um, so good. Very excited for it. And just, oh, I, I cannot wait to see this on the big screen. Whether it's a big screen or even just on Disney+, Plus, it's gonna be amazing. So... Tell me your thoughts down in the comments. This is really quick because I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow and I have to get back to study. So there's not really much editing going into this, um, except for the intro and the outro and all that bullshit. But um, yeah, <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, Bingo, out. <laughs>